Hey Vinyl Community, Jeff here. I am back for another what's new type video. A um, couple things came in in the uh, past few days that I wanted to show. And yeah, um, so I don't know, uh, some of you all might have seen this. Uh, a couple weeks ago, uh, there was a contest over at uh, Rick Head over at Rick and Records. If you don't know his channel, uh, be a link below. You can jump on um, and check him out. He's been around before under different names, so uh, you, you may have followed him, and then he disappeared, and he came back. So anyway, check it out. But he had a contest, and you had to do these specific rules, and he, it wasn't one of those random draws. It was actually whoever did the rules right. And there were two of us, so that we tied, basically. So he drew, it was a 50-50 chance. It was me and another VC member, and the other person won. However, when he contacted him about the winnings, because he was giving away a CD... The other guy said, just go ahead and give it to Jeff. So I ended up getting the prize as the runner-up. <laughs> and, so, and what it was was an autographed version of the new Starcrawler album. Now, I admit, I don't know a whole lot about the band, but it was weird because just a little over a month or so ago before the contest, I somehow stumbled upon one of their new tracks, and I listened to it, and I thought, yeah, it doesn't sound... That's, it's interesting. I, I, I kind of wanted to hear more. It was kind of intriguing. I was mostly intrigued because of the look of the band. I mean, I admit the singers, you know, she's, I, I believe, like six foot something. She's, I think she's like six foot three. And she weighs like 100 pounds. So she's very, very, very thin. And uh, anyway, they, they, they look kind of strange. So I thought I should give them a listen and not really look at them. And so anyway, I said, sure, I'll take it. So it's, it's you know, an autograph version. And yeah, it, it's interesting. It's a mixture of, it's got some edge to it, kind of a, some rocking edge at a time, and then some some popular side at the on other times. So, and they have a couple different records out. Um, this is just the newer one. But I don't know a whole lot about them and only heard a couple tracks online before I ended up getting this. So thanks a lot, Rick. He had an extra copy, had it autographed, and there you go. And this was just one that um, I, again, I just, I guess, wasn't paying attention. It actually came out in 2020, but I saw it, and I picked it up, and I ordered it, and it got here very fast from Canada. And that's just a Helix compilation, Eat, Sleep, Rock. The thing that's interesting about this, I don't buy a lot of compilations just because I tend to already have the albums. But a bunch of these songs are from more recent albums, which never have, uh, I have them all on CD, but none of them, I don't think. Hardly any of them have come out on vinyl. Some have. But, um, so yeah, it's just some of, the, some of the stuff that came out after their, off their major label. So it would have been like from the 90s on, a lot of that stuff. So um, the story of Helix, Eat, Sleep, Rock, Shock, Rock, uh, Shock City, Psycho Rock, Wrecking Ball, I'm Alive, Frankenstein, Even Jesus Wasn't Loved in His Hometown, Cyberspace Girl, When the Bitters, When the Bitters Got the Better of You, the Tequila Song, Gene Simmons says rock is dead and the devil's having a party tonight, which is cool because that was actually the devil's having a party tonight was a single that came out a picture disc like thing. And I never did get a chance to get that. So now I have the song in here. So there you go. Um, the, uh, you know, it's just kind of a neat little, I'm a big Helix fan. Let's take a look inside here. We got inner sleeve. It's got lyrics, song stuff. It's just black. Typical. It does need an inner probably sleeve because that's way staticky um that's it just quick and easy put out there you go some new stuff from helix on vinyl now the only other thing that i've gotten in recently was a package came in over the weekend um from rocks records and that includes the new uh motivic death of a gunman on vinyl now i had the cd it came out like 2021 and then they pressed it onto vinyl one of the uh it's a very limited pressing. Technically, I guess it's a 100 print because it comes with an autographed copy of the cover, which is hand numbered. Mine's 28 of 100. However, as can happen sometimes, there may be, I don't know if this is why, but there's on the website, it's only listed as having 85 of these available on vinyl. Whether 15 of them got messed up or something, I don't know. I've seen that happen in the past where there were like 15 that didn't make the cut, got cut from the actual 100 that were pressed. But anyway, it's list. It's part of the Rocks 100 series, but on the website it says only 85 were available. So um, if you're not familiar with this, it, it can't, like I said, it came out in 2021, a new band, and it's a mixture. Uh, it's got thrash elements. I hear a lot of um, 
like a tourniquet feel, uh, some of the latter years tourniquet feel. And the vocalists switch between, there's two, it's two guys mainly, and uh, they do all the instruments. And the vocals at times feel kind of tourniquet like, um, you know, the Luke Easter years. And then sometimes kind of has a almost a Dale Thompson of bride sound. But then musically, it is, uh, it's, it, it, it goes from some interesting keyboard type stuff that's, you know, intertwined in there amongst like a thrash guitar type stuff. So it's really intriguing. I really enjoyed it. Now, the thing that's interesting about this, which I have not uh, checked it out yet, but there is a bonus track, Harbinger of Demise, which was not on the CD. So interestingly enough, the vinyl gets a bonus track. So um, yeah, I'm looking forward to listening to that. I, I haven't put this on yet, but uh, I loved the original album. And like I said, you got the hand signed cover there. You've got the insert has pictures and lyrics pictures of guys and lyrics and the record is just on black yeah so anyway rocks records really thrilled to have this especially thrilled to have the uh, bonus track and that came in and then i ordered some cds that were just some extra things that they had that i had not heard of angelic forces um this is not actually out from rocks records it's one that carried and I am totally drawing a blank where these guys are from. I want to say they're from somewhere overseas. I've listened to it, and it's straight up metal. Um, yeah, it's yeah, it's just straight up metal. It's you know, there's there's no real. Uh, it's good. It's good stuff. You can see from the look of the guys that, you know, it's kind of the European type flair of metal. So yeah, I enjoyed it. That came like I said. They they they're carrying copies of this. The album is actually an import, and so that came in, and it is really some great stuff. And then the one new thing that Rocks put out that, that I did go for was the Omega. Not familiar with the band. They're from the UK. It's called From Beginning to End, The Complete Recordings of Omega. They are a UK band that came out in the late, in the well, 80, mo, everything on here is recorded between 84 and 86, and... Um, so what we've got here is they came out with a two disc edition and it's got a couple live shows um a three song it sounds kind of like a demo i don't know if it's live but it's it's a little cleaner than the rest of the demo track than the list of less than the rest of the live track so it might be studio recording i, I haven't read all the notes closely live at the Greenbelt festival in 1985 so it's got more live stuff and then it's got two songs from a seven inch vinyl record from 1985 there were two editions of this available the two disc edition is a standard or you could buy the three disc which is a third disc and a card sleeve that's just thrown in and it includes an entire show live at nottingham festival june 1986 their final gig so overall it's just hard rock maybe a little bit of a metallic edge for the 80s pretty much everything on here is I don't want to say it's bootleggy live sounding better. You know, it sounds good, but it's, you know, just live footage. Um, so it's mostly <clears throat> that kind of a, a raw live field. And so, like I say, had not heard of them. I've seen the logo before, so I probably ran across something about them or saw them reviewed or something back in the day because the logo rings a bell. But I don't think I've ever heard their music. And then while I was at it, I picked up the new No Life Till Metal um, this is the uh, volume two. I, I don't, I'm having a hard time getting it out. No Life to Metal Records sampler, compilation, whatever you can call it. Volume two. Um, these type of things come out. They are revealing things that are forthcoming or just showing you a sample of albums that they have released. In this case, quite a few of these are samples of songs that are forthcoming in 2023. Um, there are 10 tracks on here that are from Scott Waters, No Life to Metal, and then there are another uh, five tracks that are actual Rocks Records bonus tracks, which are, again, a lot of those are, some of those are um, things that are forthcoming. Got Banshee with uh, Metamorphosis, which is just an amazing album, an amazing track. Primal, which uh, I recently got that album. Iron Jaw, which I knew Scott carried that. I don't think he put it out, but it's on his thing, but I've just kind of... For some reason missed over it and then i listened to this and i'm like holy crud so yeah that's going to be on my list to get and it shows that they're going to be having a new album out uh reptilian 
um, or Rept Alien. Anyway, <laughs> um, that was good to hear because I've I've been friends with them online and just you know watching the progression as they talk about new stuff coming. Uh, Vindicator, uh, which is some stuff that Scott put out that I, I never did get a chance to buy. Avenger Blood. Some of these are bands that are, like I say, forthcoming that I have not heard much from. Uh, Madrost, I think I own everything by them. Anger as Art, they have a lot of stuff out that I guess they're getting maybe some reissues. Um, Gamma Side, which is one that I bought back when it came out last year. And Chris Manning, some new tracks. And then on Rocks Records, we got the uh, Minier, uh, which is, you know, going to be a new... Uh, New album slash uh, the retooled version of a song from the first album. Uh, Seventh Servant, which came out a few months ago. Reign of Glory came out a few months ago. Fear Not came out a few months ago. And Defector is a brand new album that drops next month. Anyway, these are cool because it's nice. I pulled these out and just put them in the car and it's kind of like, hey, you know, cool stuff. Things I can listen to that uh, and get prepared for new releases. But that's it. Just some cool new stuff that came out this weekend. And I'm hoping you'll be enjoying it. Check out Rick below. Make sure you subscribe to that. Check out these bands if you haven't heard of them. And I will be back. See you later. Rock on and rock hard.